Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to run different functions based on if the user is on desktop or mobile. We're gonna see if their screen is less than 999 pixels or more than 999 pixels and run different functions based on the size. This is gonna get ultra personal and we're gonna do different things for mobile users than we do for desktop users. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we see a button that's going to run our function. We're gonna run two different functions based on the size of our screen. So I'm on desktop, when I click this button, we are going to change this text. I'm gonna go click, hey desktop user, the bottom text goes unchanged. Now if I go ahead and make my screen smaller, let's go ahead and reload the page. Our text is reset, and when I go and click this button again, it's going to change the mobile user text. My screen is below 991, I'm being identified as a mobile user or a small screen user, and now we can run a different function. We're inside designer and we have three elements on the page. First, we have our hack button. This is a unique class. We're gonna be listening for a click on this. And after it is clicked, we're going to change either our hack 26 text desktop class or our hack 26 text mobile class. Here inside designer, that's all we need for structure. We just need unique classes so we can target it with JavaScript. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. The first thing we're gonna do is declare a very important variable. This variable is called onMobile, and all we're doing here is telling JavaScript we are going to use this variable. We're gonna use it later on in the code. We're gonna let you know it's here, and this is just simply stating that onMobile is a thing. It's a variable, and now, on the resize event function, we're going to apply either true or false to this onMobile variable. So we are creating a function, which we are storing in a variable called resize event. And the function is going to run an if statement. And it's going to say if the window size is less than or equal to 991 pixels, do this. And this is onMobile equals true. We're taking this variable that we established and we are saying it is true. On mobile is true if you're less than or equal to 991 pixels. If you are not and you are more than 991 pixels, we skip this, we go to the else statement. And the else statement is going to set on mobile to false. If you're above 991 pixels, you are not on a mobile device, on mobile is false. Great. We've declared these two very important things. We actually haven't done anything with them just yet. We are going to run the event right here. So all we did here was create this variable. We created another variable that has a function, and now we're going to run this function. So the resize event function is running. We're also going to listen and see if the user resizes the window. So we are right away, right on load, going to say true or false to on mobile. We're also going to see if the user makes the browser smaller or larger. Maybe someone's on a desktop and they make their browser really small and we are going to then treat them as a mobile user. And on button click, we are going to run an if statement. And the if statement is if on mobile is false on mobile fault not true on mobile that means they're on desktop it is not on mobile we are going to show our desktop message and our desktop message is taking the text desktop and it's changing it to hey desktop user of course you can put whatever you want here you can show a chat bot, one of those little chat things in the bottom right. You can run some type of function that shows uh, 
some type of scene only for desktop users, some type of advanced effect, whatever you want. Anything can go inside of here. And if mo on mobile is false, they're on desktop, it's going to run that. Else, if on mobile is true, we go to the else statement, and that's where we take our text mobile, change the text to hey mobile user. And again, you can do it ever you want here. You can show iOS and Android buttons. You can um, show a different type of chat. You can show different types of effects, all with JavaScript. So that is how we're making this work. We get to run different functions. Your functions go here. And we decide if the user is on mobile or not on mobile, and we run one function or the other function. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.